Now that we have covered authentication and session management, let's move on to something really important for your web applications, user roles and permissions. Most apps need more than just checking if someone is logged in or not. They need different permission levels for different users. So let's learn how to implement role-based access control using Clerk. First things first, we need to configure Clerk to make user roles available in our session token. Clerk gives us something called user metadata, which is like a storage space for extra user information. In our case, we will use it to store user roles. We will specifically use something called public metadata because it is read-only in the browser, making it super secure for storing sensitive information like user roles. To build a basic RBAC system, we need to make sure this public metadata is readily available in the session token. By doing this, we can quickly check user roles without having to make extra network requests every time we need this information. This makes our application much more efficient. Here's what you need to do. Head over to the Clerk dashboard and under the Configure tab, find the Sessions page. Under Customize Session Token, click Edit. In the modal that opens, add JSON with the following key and value. Metadata within double curly braces, user.public underscore metadata. Scroll down and click the Save button. For the second step, we will need to create a global TypeScript definition to work with roles. Back in VS Code, in your application's root folder, create a types directory. Inside this folder, create a globals.d.ts file. Here, start by exporting an empty object. This makes the file a module. Next, we define what roles are available in our application. Imagine a social media app where moderators can moderate content and admins can manage moderators. So export type roles is equal to admin or moderator. These are the two roles for our application. Next, extend clerk's session token type globally. Declare global curly braces interface custom JWT session claims. We specify metadata role optional of type roles. This will provide auto-completion and prevent TypeScript errors when working with roles throughout our application. For the third step, we will manually add the admin role to our own user. In the Clerk dashboard, navigate to the Users tab. Select your own user account, which should be the only user in the list. Scroll down to the User Metadata section, and next to the Public option, click Edit. Update the JSON with the key Role and value Admin. Click Save. For the fourth step, we will define and protect a new admin route. In the app directory, create a new admin folder with a page.tsx file. Here, export default function admin returns an h1 tag admin only page. Now to view this page, you not only have to be signed in, but also have the admin role. So to protect this route, we will apply role-based access control in our middleware.ts file. First, use create route matcher to create a matcher for the admin route. So const is admin route is equal to create route matcher, and the path is slash admin. Next, add a check for the user's role in the middleware function. If is admin route of request and await auth dot session claims dot metadata dot role is not equal to admin. Const URL is equal to new URL, path is forward slash, and the second argument is request.url. We return next response dot redirect and pass in URL. Make sure to import next response from next slash server. In the browser, make sure you're signed in and navigate to the admin route slash admin. You should be able to access it. Now, back in the Clerk dashboard, change the role to moderator and click Save. Try to access the admin route again, so slash admin, and you will be redirected to the home page. Our RBAC system is working as expected. Of course, manually adding roles to users is not scalable. In a real world application, an admin will want to be able to manage user roles. So, for the fifth step, 
we will create server actions to manage user roles. In the admin folder, create a new actions.ts file. Start with the use server directive. Next, we will define a function to set a role for a user. Export, async function, set role, and the function receives the form data of type form data. Within the function, we first need to check that the user calling this action is an admin. We can do this by checking the session claims.metadata.role on the auth object. At the top, import auth from clerk slash nextjs slash server, and within the function, extract the session claims. const session claims is equal to await auth. If the user role is not an admin, if session claims metadata role is not equal to admin, we will return a not authorized error. So throw new error, not authorized. If the user is an admin, we will get the clerk client to update the user's role. So import clerk client from clerk slash nextjs slash server and invoke it within the component. Const client is equal to await clerk client. Now this server action expects a form submission with two types of info. So const id is equal to form data dot get id as string and role is equal to form data dot get role as roles. Make sure to import it from types slash globals. ID here refers to the user we are updating and role refers to what role we are giving the user, either admin or moderator. Next, within a try block, use the clerk client to update the user's role. So await client dot users dot update user. We pass in ID as the first argument. And for the second argument, it's an object where we specify public metadata. This is an object where we set role equal to the passed in role. If there is an error, throw new error failed to set role. Let's make sure the syntax is right. Similarly, we'll define a function to remove a role from a user. I'll paste the code here, but let me walk you through the code. So export async function remove role, which receives form data. Once again, start by checking that the user calling this action is an admin. Then get the clerk client and extract the ID from the form data. Finally, within a try block, use the clerk client to update the user's role to null. If there is an error, throw a new error, failed to remove role. In both the functions, if the update operation is successful, we will call revalidate path and revalidate slash admin. This will automatically update the admin UI without us having to refresh the page when we update a role. All right, with these two server actions, we can now manage user roles in our application. For the final step, we will flesh out the admin page to let admins manage user roles from the user interface. Now, this is a pretty verbose React component, but you already know the fundamentals of how to write React components. I'm going to paste the code to save us some time. It's about 78 lines of code, but let me walk you through what I've pasted. We still have export default function admin. We get hold of clerk client and call users.getUserList.data to fetch the list of users from clerk. We then map over that user's list in the UI. There's some Tailwind CSS styling for alternate rows. We render user.firstname and user.lastname, the primary email address, the role of the user, and then against each user, we have make admin and make moderator buttons, which include hidden inputs for user ID and role. These buttons use the set role server action to update the role for the given user ID. We also have a remove role button that calls the remove role server action passing in the user ID. Let's go back to the browser, change our user role back to admin, and navigate to the admin route. So slash admin. I'll close the dev tools for some extra space. I'm also going to register with a new user behind the scenes in a different browser. All right, I've registered with a new user in Firefox, but this user will not have the admin role 
so they won't be able to access the admin dashboard. Navigate to slash admin, and you will be redirected to the home page. In the first browser, refresh the page, and you will see the new user. Using this admin account, update the role of the new user to admin. So click on make admin. We can see the role is now admin. With the user logged in Firefox, try to access the admin dashboard again, slash admin. We are able to view the admin component. Our custom RBAC system is working as expected. Now to make RBAC more streamlined in larger applications, Clerk also provides a built-in organizations feature with a roles and permission system. You can learn more about it in the documentation. But if you're building a small application, our custom RBAC system should be good enough. With that, we have successfully implemented all our authentication goals. Next, let's take a look at some of the customization options available when using Clerk's components. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.